Starting today, workers on the I-4 Ultimate Project are once again putting up these massive cement beams. Tonight, we're asking if anything's being done differently to avoid another accident like the one that killed a worker last month. Back on September 28th, investigators say the man was crushed by one of those cement beams. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lynn Keats. And I'm Darlene Jones. It happened along the I-4-408 interchange. Shannon and I, Jeff Love Coolidge is live near the scene for us tonight. And Jeff, we're still waiting to find out what caused the accident. We are, Darlene. They still have not released the cause of the accident. What SGL told us today is that it is still under investigation. They told us in a brief email that work to install girders will resume with new safety measures and procedures. After a 15-day halt on much of the 21-mile stretch of the I-4 Ultimate project, crews were back to work Sunday erecting girders or cement beams. SGL says resuming work on the massive project comes with precautionary modifications and safety measures that include expanded girder restraint procedures during installation. This all comes after Ulysses Corrales Ibarra, a worker on the project, was crushed by a cement beam. It happened September 28th near the I-4 and 408 interchange. From Sky Witness 9, you can see exactly where that girder came crashing down. An OPD report says Ibarra was working in this hoist cage when a giant cement girder tumbled out of control, crushing him and the equipment underneath. The cause of the accident is still under investigation by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Some work resumed after SGL evaluated safety protocol at certain sites. Originally, though, we were told that crews were not able to install the same type of beam until investigators figured out exactly what happened. But SGL says they determined that girder erection can proceed. Now, five workers have been killed since the I-4 Ultimate project began. The project is already 10 months behind schedule. I did reach out to SGL this afternoon to ask them how much this latest delay is going to cost them, but haven't heard back yet. Reporting live from Orlando, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.